Hi, I am Precious Ugweze. All right, and in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, the concept of integration by substitution, uh, which is also the analog of the function of function derivatives that we discuss under chain rules in differentiation. And that's why we have this. Okay, so what is it all about? It's talking about when you're given uh, the integral, uh, you're asked to take the integral of a function of function, like here. You have a linear function, 1 minus 4x, and then it is under the square function. Okay, so what do you do there? The, the basic thing we are doing here is substitution. So we're going to give a name to the inner function. Of course, from here, when you have function of function, this one is now the inner function. So the one that is inside, you give it a name. And by the time you do that, you are going to be having a change of variable here because what you now have here is u squared like I have here now. This is u. And so because you have a change of variable, you would also need to change the variable you are integrating with respect to. So what do you do? You are going to now differentiate this variable you have given as the name. And then from there, you make the x, the subject, such that you are going to write your dx in terms of that variable so that you will be able to now integrate with respect to that variable. And so that's what we want to do here. So if we do this differentiation, we will get this. Recall that you can also write this as minus 1 over 4 du, of course, by fractions. And so what do we do? Then we'll now have to now do that substitution in this case. So that means we want to now substitute into this integral we are given. And what's the first thing? 1 minus 4x is u. And so we'll have u squared. And then uh, dx is equal to minus the u all over 4. And that's what we have here now. So from here, immediately you have finished your substitution. The next thing is to do what you know about uh, the integration. And so we try to simplify. We simplify by bringing out the constant out of the integral. And the constant, like I told you, this is the same thing as minus 1 over 4 du. So we're just bringing out the minus 1 over 4. And so we have only u squared du left. And so if we integrate now by integration, you recall the formula, you're going to have 1 added to this all over the new power. And that's why we have u raised power 3 over 3 and plus our constant c. And so the next thing is to simplify what you have. You multiply out, you have minus u cubed all over 12 plus c and finally you bring back the value that you substituted here our u we're going to substitute it back and that gives us the final solution to this problem the next example so here we are given that we should evaluate this one that's the cos of 1 minus 3x with respect to x first of all we substitute the inner function we take the derivative we get minus 3 and then we make the x the subject, and then we substitute. If we substitute my 1 minus 3x, we get cos u. We substitute the x as minus the u over 3, and then uh, we simplify. When we simplify, we are bringing minus 1 over 3 here out of the integral, and so we have this. Then we integrate cos u, we'll get sine u. And so we simply we multiply out. That gives us minus 1 over 3 sine u plus our constant c. And finally, we bring back the value of our u, which is 1 minus 3x. And so the next example here says we should integrate 4e raised to the power 5x minus 2 with respect to x. Our first step, substitute the, or give a name to the inner function, which is this. And then we try to differentiate so as to get the value of dx. And dx is the u all over 5. And then we try to substitute. So if we substitute here, 5x minus 2 is our u. We bring down our dx here. Our dx is the u all over 5. Then we bring out the constant value out of the integral, which is, of course, you know, if this multiplies here, you're going to have 4 over 5 e raised to the power u, then du. So we are bringing out that 4 over 5 out of the integral. And then we now integrate e raised to the power u. Of course, I told you, that the integral of e raised to the power u is also e raised to the power u if you are integrating with respect to u. And so we have this. And so finally, we bring back the value of our u, which is 5x minus 2, and then plus your constant c. The next example. Okay, so here we have this. 
this one now is uh, asking us to integrate u 2 raised to power 3x minus 1 all right just the same process we substitute our u as 3 the inner function we uh, differentiate it to get our dx and that's giving us the u all over 3 and then from here we now substitute so as to be able to integrate and so our this becomes u and so we bring our dx our dx is the u over 3 then we bring out the constant the constant here is 1 over 3 remember that this is not a it's just it's part of the function you are integrating so you are not bringing out this 2 it's only the 1 over 3 here and that gives us this and so we integrate 2 raised to power u you recall that standard integral that says that when you have a So it says that when you have integral of a raised to power x with respect to x that it is the same thing as a raised to power x all over the lean of a plus your constant c all right and so that's what we applied here so when you integrate this you are going to have 2 raised to power your a here is just a constant which a, a 2 is a constant so you have 2 raised to power u all over the lean of 2 and so plus our constant c all right so finally you introduce back your the value of your u and that gives you what you are looking for all right so the next example so here we have the integral of c sec squared uh, 2 plus 3x with respect to x we give a name to our inner function and that's our u we differentiate it and we'll get 3 make the x the subject we'll have this then we'll try to substitute and so if you substitute this now, which is what we are giving, becomes 6x squared u, because this is our u, then dx, and we bring back the value of u, so our u is the u over 3, and so we bring out all the constant, here you can see if you multiply this, you are going to have 6 over 3, of course this 3 will cancel out to give you 2 actually, and so this is going to give you 6 all over 3, and then you have 6 squared u, then with respect to u left okay and so like i said this gives us two and the integral of sec squared u with respect to u is tan u and finally we bring back the value of our u and that gives us the final solution example six so try to solve this yourself this is already the sixth example try to see if you can do it remember you start with your u and then uh, you, you differentiate to get your dx. The essence of this differentiation is just to get a value for your dx. Please always take note of that. So after you've differentiated, make dx the subject from what you have here. And so you then do your substitution. This is our u. So we have the uh, integral of square root of u with respect to x. And so we want to change our x now. So we substitute. And after that, we bring out the constant. And the constant here is minus 1 over 4. So when you bring it out, you will have this. And then you integrate what you have here by adding 1. And if you add 1 to this, you get 3 over 2. And you divide by that 3 over 2. And by fraction, this is going to be the reciprocal because this is going to be 1 all over this. And the reciprocal of this is 2 all over 3. And that's why we have this. And so when you now multiply this, you are going to get this, of course, will cancel 4 and you have 2. So you have minus 1 over 6 left. And then we bring back our u. Our u is 3 minus 4x and then raise the power of 3 over 2 plus our constant c. And then the next example here says that we should integrate this. This is more beautiful. And so, of course, when you take your substitution here, which is this, Remember, the one that is the inner function is always the one that you would have to substitute. Okay, so we take our derivative, and so we'll get this. If you differentiate this, you'll have 3x squared, and then uh, dx will now become du all over 3x squared. If you make the x the subject, so we substitute here. If we substitute at this place, we are going to have uh, 3x squared, the root of u, because the, the whole of this is now our u. And so we bring down the value of dx, and which is going to give us this. All right, so and I change the square root of u to u raised to power 2 in index form so that I'll be able to integrate. And so what that gives me now, now watch what we have here. There is 3x squared out here, and there is 3x squared here. So the two of them will cancel away, 
And so you have only this, the integral of u raised to power half uh, with respect to u left. And so, and that's what we are to integrate. And if we integrate, we'll have this. And like what I said earlier on, this is going to now take the reciprocal, which is going to give us two all over three. And then we bring down the value of our u, which is one plus s cubed. And then we take the power, which is three all over two. And that is plus c, our constant. And finally, the last example for this video, we have uh, the integral of x dx, you know, all over x squared plus 1 all squared. Okay, so what is our inner function here? The one that is under the square function. And so we call it our u, we differentiate. Now, always make sure to follow the, to follow the process step by step. Okay, so now if we differentiate this, we'll have 2x. Of course, this will turn to 0. And then our dx will become du all over 2x if you make dx the subject here. And so we try to substitute. So if we substitute here now, the whole of this will turn to u. And so you have u squared. And then that is x dx. I decided to bring down the dx this way. Of course, they are the same. We can actually write it that way here. We can bring down this dx somewhere here. All right. And so we now bring the value of dx, which we got here as the u all over 2 here and so from there uh, you see that some things will cancel away x will cancel away this x up here so you will only have the integral of uh, 1 all over u squared the u all over 2 because only 2 will be left and then we'll now bring out the constant which is 1 over 2 if you bring out 1 sorry you are yeah you are bringing out 1 over 2 because this is 1 over 2 here now, meanwhile, this is actually 1 over 2 squared, uh, sorry, u squared, and so we we'll change it to index form, which will give us u raised power minus 2, and then you're integrating with respect to u. And when you do that, you are going to have plus 1, which is minus 1 here, and then all over minus 1. And so when you simplify this, this minus 1 will multiply or divide this to give us minus half. And so this other u raised to power minus 1 will now change it to fraction, fractional form, and that is 1 all over u, then plus c. And so finally, we bring everything together. This is going to bring down our negative sign. 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times u is 2u. And of course, your u here is x squared plus 1, and that is plus your c as a constant. And that's where we'll end it for this video. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, comment on our YouTube videos. Please invite other people to, you know, visit our YouTube channel. And in case you have anything you want us to respond to with a video, you can always reach out to us through our social media handles, our email. Everything is in the description below. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.